Tucson police are looking for a driver who ran down a man trying to cross the street in a wheelchair. The man died in the hospital a few hours later. Police hope you can help find the hit and run driver. The vehicle was a dark pickup or SUV. It has lower body damage. You or maybe a repair shop may be able to recognize pedestrians deaths are soaring this year. 15 so far compared to seven at the same time last year. Nine in your sides. Craig Smith is live at the scene of the latest crash Irvington and 9th Avenue. Well, guy, police believe the man bought a hot dog from a cart that was set up in this lot, then tried to head across Ir Irvington to this bus center right across the street. Now, instead of using a crosswalk that's right here designed to stop traffic safely for him, he began to cross right about where we are now. A driver hit him and did not even slow down. Paint marks the careful measurements detectives make when a life ends on the pavement in Tucson. It's happened 15 times this year, and it's barely July. Three times in January, twice in February, four times in March, twice in April, twice in June, and now this latest death in July. Police say in many of these deaths, including the latest, pedestrians did not use systems designed to keep them safe. The city of Tucson has spent millions of dollars to put special protected pedestrian crossings called hawk lights at spots all over the city. And all over the city, you will see pedestrians ignoring a hawk crossing that's just a few feet away. But that does not relieve drivers of the responsibility to watch for pedestrians everywhere and the responsibility to stop and help if there's an accident. Of the 15 pedestrian deaths this year, seven, almost half, were hit and runs. Police say it's a crime to leave an accident scene, but staying may help police decide you're not at fault. And oftentimes we just need to speak to the driver to find out exactly what happened. It's not always the driver's fault either. It could have been something the pedestrian did or it's something the driver did, but those are things we try to find out. But even if you are not at fault, if you leave, you have committed a felony. Now, police say it's hard to know exactly why there's been a surge in these pedestrian deaths. Not using crosswalks is a factor. Distracting driver, distracted drivers may be adding to the danger. Again, in the hit and run at this location, which happened at about 1130 last night, police are hoping you will recognize that dark pickup or dark SUV and recognize the body damage that happened to it from this hit and run accident. They say if you can help bring that driver in, call 911 or 88 Crime. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Craig, thank you.